Oh, we're on the countdown. I don't think anybody could possibly be as excited about this as I am. Whew. Six, five, four, three, two. <laughs> Hi there, welcome back to my kitchen. I'm Jane DeGraff and today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favourite things in the whole wide world. Cauliflower buffalo wings. Now wait, 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 before you go anywhere let me explain. I don't make cauliflower buffalo wings because they're a substitute for meat. I make them because cauliflower buffalo wings are one of the best things you will ever taste. And honestly it's all about the combination of flavours in this. I'm also going to go straight out and say it. They are a Sweet Baby Ray's delivery sauce delivery system, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. And we keep coming back to these in our house, don't we? Hello over there? Hi. Hi. We do, don't we? This is one of the things we eat like all the time. All the time. And I have it on the good authority of the people in my house that these are definitely better than, than chicken buffalo wings because you can eat a whole plate of these and feel fine afterwards. Am I right? Guilt-free. Guilt-free, guilt-free. So let's get straight into it. The first thing we need to do is get yourself a nice head of cauliflower and you need to just break the florets up into, you know, like little bite-sized pieces. Don't do them too big. I was greedy once before and did that. It's very awkward. Small bite-sized pieces is good. You tried the big ones, didn't you? Yeah. And was it a disaster? Just too much cauliflower. <laughs> too much cauliflower. No, wrong. I don't believe you. you gotta I think the batter ratio. The batter ratio has to be good, right? So what I like about this is even if you end up with little bits, keep them because they're they're still excellent in the batter. So break the cauliflower up into pieces. Like we said, go for sort of really good bite-sized pieces. That's almost on the too big side, but you know what? I'm going to go with it anyway, just to demonstrate all the different shapes and sizes. Someone said to me the other day that they don't cook cauliflower at home because they think it makes the house smell terribly gassy. Um, that was a polite way of saying it smells like a fart. Yeah. Did you grow up with farty cauliflower in your house? from cauliflower? No, 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 the, sm <laughs> the smell when you're cooking it. Now what I have come to discover is that that smell is only let off if you're overcooking the cauliflower. If you don't overcook the cauliflower, it, it won't stink like that. It'll just smell kind of vegetably rather than that really sort of sulfury, gassy sort of smell. My mum used to cook cauliflower loads when I was growing up, but she used to steam it in the microwave. Yeah. Did a little piece of you just die then as well? I love my mum. And the 80s. <laughs> my mum was an excellent cook and she taught me a lot of the things that I know but one of the things that I did not take with me was was her penchant for um, yeah steaming steaming vegetables in the microwave which I'm really I don't think it does them any good did your family overcook beans as well when you were growing up and you have like no beans were sacred beans were sacred yeah. I can imagine your dad would be very particular about beans yep. hi Bob Bob is um he's, he's a good cook isn't he Makes a great curry, does Bob. Anywho, these are our pieces of cauliflower. So in our lovely little sort of bite-sized pieces. See, they've even got little handles like chicken wings. Anyway, we're just going to pop that off to one side. I took far longer than I needed to for that. You can actually do that incredibly quickly. We'll just pop that out of the way. Next step is to make our batter. And what I love about this batter is it's incredibly easy. You don't have to let it ferment. You don't have to whisk it particularly hard. You don't even need a mixer to make it. This is some chickpea flour. Besson flour. Did you look at besson flour in the shops and go, what is that? Yeah. Yeah. So besson flour is just ground up chickpea flour, which is fantastic for this particular um, batter that we're making. All I'm putting in there is some garlic powder and a little bit of salt. This is just one of my favourite personal combinations. You can put whatever spices in you like. We've been known to put a little bit of dried dill in this and try a few other bits and pieces, but I find the simpler you keep it, the better. And then all you need is some milk. This is oat milk. You can use almond milk. You can use any kind of plant-based milk. You can use dairy milk, whatever you personally like. I'm going with the oat milk today because I've found that it works quite well and has a particularly nutty flavor that works really nicely with both the cauliflower when it's cooked and also with the chickpea flour that's in here. So we'll give that a whisk up. My kids love doing this. They like anything to do with whisks. Yeah? True story? Totally true. Totally true. Anything to do with a whisk. Like hitting each other with them. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, they've been known to run around and use them as micro microphones and all sorts of things. That's a little bit too thick. We don't want our batter coating to be overly thick, but you can just keep adding a little bit of milk at the time until you've got 
the dipping texture that you want. Because what we're going to do is dip our cauliflower into this, get a light coating, and then dip it into some panko crumbs, which are Japanese breadcrumbs. And I like these because they're super light, fluffy, and they go beautifully crispy and crunchy when you cook them. I use them on chicken nugget, homemade chicken nuggets and homemade fish fingers as well. We always keep some in the pantry, don't we? Yeah, huh? I get very upset if we're out of the old panko crumb. Um, but you can use any kind of breadcrumbs you like as well. Whatever you think is gonna get you the kind of crispy, crunchy coat that you like. If you like sourdough crumbs, go for it. But personally, I strongly recommend the panko crumbs. It's got that lovely raw garlic powder smell to it at the moment. All right, so that's all we need to do. You can see it's a really great sort of thin batter consistency there. Just let me pop this out of the way. All right, got to get my station, my dipping station lined up. So this is another thing that our kids love to get involved with is dipping. Although we've got one that whinges when his fingers get dirty, yeah? He's like, oh, dirty fingers. And I'm like, just keep them dirty until the end. So, dipping station. All we need to do is dip our cauliflower into the batter. Shake it off. You don't want it too clumpy and lumpy because it just stops it crisping up in the, in the oven. And then into our crumbs. Oop, dripping everywhere. Get a nice crumb coating on that. And then, ta-da, there's the first one. Now this is just the first stage of what gets you your ultimately amazing, crispy, crunchy, oh, buffalo-y coating. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a whole tray of these babies together, and then we're going to just bake them in the oven for 20 minutes until they're crispy and crunchy on the outside. I was trying to keep my fingers clean and I've just given up now, look at, look at that. Battered fingers, ta-da! Um, we're gonna get a whole tray of these and then we're just gonna bake them in the oven for 20, 25 minutes until they're crispy and golden on the outside. Then we're gonna take them out of the oven and dunk them in sweet baby rays. I saw your face light up over there. You have a love affair with sweet baby rays, don't you? Oh yeah. Massive love affair. So while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna explain. So once you've, once you've cooked them and they're nice and crunchy on the outside, you're then going to dunk them into, into sweet baby rays or hot sauce of your choice. Now you can use, you could use sriracha if you like, if that's what you want to dunk it in. But basically what you're looking for is like a vinegary, hot, hot, hot sauce that is going to coat your buffalo wings and it's going to go back in the oven and you're going to roast it, sorry, bake it again until it's all done. And that is all it takes, my friends. That is how you get buffalo cauliflower wings. And then what you've got is like the, the stingy hot sauce on the outside and the beautifully soft steamed sweet cauliflower in the middle. Now some people when they're serving buffalo wings will serve it with like a maple sauce or put some maple into one of their, one of their sauces, some sweetness. You don't need to do that with cauliflower because it's naturally sweet once it's cooked. It's got this beautiful light sweetness to it which I keep, I talk endlessly about this. I wax lyrical about cauliflower. Yeah? You're just nodding. Yeah. Nodding's no good. You have to say it out loud. Yes, you do. <laughs> See, that one's going to be too big. Someone's going to hurt themselves with the, with the hot sauce on that one. But um, we're keeping it real. We're doing some variation. All right. It's very, um... I say this about a lot of cooking, but this is very therapeutic, this production line, dirty fingers business. I'm into quite a lot of um, cooking that, that really gets you up to your elbows in um, batter and dipping and fingers in bowls. I don't believe in keeping my hands clean. I tried to before and failed miserably. This is a great dish to serve to friends who are thinking about introducing more vegetables to, into their diet but are a bit unsure how to go about doing it because if they like buffalo wings, they like hot buffalo wings, they're going to love love these. They're not even going to question. You didn't even miss it the first time, did I? When I gave it to you, you didn't even miss the meat. No. You didn't go, where's the chicken? You went, these are great. All right. Dusting, dusting. Just excuse me for a minute while I continue to... 
dip and dunk and roll. This is when you need the kids because they like this and it's faster when there's more people doing it. You thought, the first time I made these for you, you thought they were going to be a blue cheese sauce delivery system, but you ended up just liking them on their own. Yeah. They don't yeah. even... So it's all about the Sweet Baby Rays. It sounds like an ad for, for Sweet Baby Rays. It's not. We just That just happens to be our go-to um, hot sauce. Now, you can do these in massive trays as well. They're very easy to cook in big batches. You don't have to be sort of babying them too much in the oven. It's a very forgiving dish which is nice, you can just sort of pop them on and forget about them. I should say right now that when we make them for the kids, we don't do the hot sauce dipping stage. We just take them out when they're crispy and crunchy and give them the, the, crunchy, the crunchy version. All right, I think we filled our tray, so that is what I will show you. What we're gonna do, oh, look at all that. You can, these little bits, <laughs> if you're anything like me, you can just pop some of those on the tray and they cook up nicely as little crunchy extra bits. You know, I should say too, if you need this to be gluten free and you don't want to use the panko crumbs, uh, because obviously they're breadcrumbs and they've got gluten in them, you can actually in their place use almond meal um, as the coating and it makes a great coating as well. But you just have to make sure it doesn't burn um, too quickly in the oven. So these guys are going to go into the oven for 20, 25 minutes just until they're nice and brown and toasty looking on the outside. You could put a little bit of oil on them if you want to, but I don't because we move on to dunking them in the hot sauce in a minute anyway. So. Off they go. What did the cheese say when it looked in the mirror? Don't know. What did the cheese say when it looked in the mirror? Hello, me. <laughs> Get it? Hello, me. Hello, me. <laughs> oh, that one never gets old. I love it so much. Oh, any other food? Ooh. Oh. Two minutes. I wish you could smell that cheese. That's hot. Woo hoo hoo! All right. So this is the first stage of the perfect cauliflower buffalo wing. Look at the crunchy bits. These are the see. That's just the batter that I. <laughs> I like the crunchy bits. So that's that's for me for later. But essentially, what we've got here is look at hot, hot. our really crunchy, beautiful crunchy pieces of cauliflower with their lovely panko crust. And what do we do now? What's it time for? Sweet Baby Rays. Time for Sweet Baby Rays, our favorite. This is not sponsored, by the way. We just really love this sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tip some of the Sweet Baby Rays. Oh gee, <coughs> just about. Wow, well that clears the sinuses. Just tip that into a bowl. And all we're gonna do is dunk our cauliflower into that, swirl it around a bit, pop it back on the tray. So I'm just going to do that now, give it a roll. And this is one that I don't stick my fingers into because I have rubbed it into my eyes before and you don't want to do that. Ouch. Oh, can you hear how crunchy that is? It's like, whoa. That is so crunchy. And now we're just going to get that crunch and soak it in hot sauce. Well, this is all part of the joy. Oh my goodness. If that wasn't going to be the most painful thing to eat by the spoonful, I, I would eat it by the spoonful. You'd eat it by the spoonful. I know you and your, you know, torture and in pursuit of a good flavour. That sounded really creepy. All right. Can you hear how crunchy those bits of cauliflower are? But the nice thing about it is the coating, the batter, keeps the moisture on the inside. So it's crunchy on the outside, but it'll be all, the cauliflower itself will be steamed on the inside, which is just soft and sweet and beautiful. Soft and sweet to go with the sweet baby rays. Let's do this. So 
It's hard to do this when people are watching. I just feel terribly uncoordinated. This bit, though, I'm just going to... Oh, my God. Did you hear my teeth shatter? So good. Mm, mm, mm. Because, you know, cook's got to have snacks, right? Chef's got to have snacks. I think we're going to need some more sauce. Mm, mm, mm. Ah! Real. Keeping it real. Making a mess. I usually blame the messy cooking on the children, but clearly it's me. Would you say the children are messy or me? You. Yeah. yeah. All right. You could have, you know, sugar-coated it a little bit. <laughs> you. Mm -hmm. You should just you, be careful or you might not get any of my sweet baby rays. I might keep it all to myself. Just make it that right in there. All right, overthinking it now. In she goes, last one. Roll it around. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say it when I got them out of the oven, but at that crunchy point, that's when we'd give them to the kids with a sauce that is not quite as, you know, dangerous to eat. So something a little bit easier on the kids. Oh, another crunchy bit for me to eat. Ready? Ready? Let's do this. Oh, yeah. Oh. The sweet baby rose is so vinegary, and that's one of the things that I love about hot sauce. So yeah, I like it to have bite. Absolutely, I like it to have bite, but it's got to have that vinegar kick to it as well, not just the heat. All right, here we go. Did I show them to you before I put them away? Or did I just... We got them. Now that I've cleaned up my disastrous mess, would you say I'm a disaster or am I just a mess? I'm hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> mm? Mm? Mm. You're wonderful. Oh, you're hedging your bets because you don't want to miss out, or do you? All right, so I'm just going to make a yogurt sauce now. And this is one that I don't even measure. I really play this by ear. So just some lovely natural yogurt. You don't need any kind of other flavors. Um, in the yogurt itself because you're going to add those. Then we're just going to add a bit of garlic, just some pre-crushed garlic in there, give that a mix up. A little tiny pinch of salt or a big pinch depending on how, how you like it. I'm not one for doing things by halves so the amount of salt that you feel it requires. Give that a mix, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to thin it down a little bit with some of our our other favourite ingredient in this house, apple cider vinegar. We put it on everything, yeah. Come on, don't let me hang in. Oh yeah. <laughs> we do. We put it on everything, and I love to use it to thin out dressings. You could use water if you don't want the vinegar kind of flavour in there, but I just love it. I just find it adds that real kick and a bit of pizzazz to most sauces, to most dressings. One of the things we eat a lot of in this house, if you can hear me over the tapping, is we eat a lot of um, salads just dressed in olive oil and apple cider vinegar. Doesn't sound terribly exciting, but gee, it brings out some of the natural flavours and things. So we're doing the same thing here, a little bit of acid, a bit of extra acid in our yoghurt, because yoghurt's acidy too. And this just will be a great counterpoint to the heat of the sweet baby rays, of the buffalo, of the cauliflower buffalo wings just something a little bit cool and also tangy just to dip your buffalo wings in that's it I'm just gonna... oh yeah garlicky tangy yogurty absolutely beautiful you can put some smoked paprika in there you can put some Tabasco if you want double kick for the heat but I reckon that that is all yeah, I'm just gonna do this I'm gonna have terrible garlic breath from this but who cares mm-hmm mm -hmm. All right, so now all we do is wait for those buffalo wings. Can you wait? No. Are you? 
Are you sweating in anticipation? Is that what I'm seeing over there? It's hot. There's like preemptive sweats going on. It is very hot in Sydney at the moment. It's summer. So we're gonna add more heat, because that's what we do. All right. I'm gonna clean some of this stuff up. We're on the countdown. I don't think anybody could possibly be as excited about this as I am. Whew. Six, five, four, three, two. Music to my ears. All right, let's get these babies out. Ooh. Okay, don't lean into the oven. Yeah, mm, burns your nose. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Pop that back. Oh, yeah. The only problem with these is that if you <laughs> breathe in that hot sauce, it will singe all the hairs in your nose. Mm-hmm. Okay, problem. Forgot the tongs. Right back. BRB. Don't lick the hot sauce while you're there. Okay, so here we go. These are our beautifully finished cauliflower buffalo wings. How does that look? This is the really giant one that I reserved for you over there. Look at that. Look at that beautiful coating on it. Crunchy on the outside. You can see that the cauliflower itself is really soft. Oh, that is burning my eyes. All right, I'm just gonna stack them up on the plate here. And then we've got to do the mandatory taste test because I, I have a real issue when food is cooked and then not tasted. Is that a lie? You do. Pet hate. I do. It's my pet, pet hate. hate. I cannot stand when people cook things and then don't don't have a taste of it. You mean on TV? I mean on TV or on any, or on anything. Like you've got to taste it. That's you cook it. If you don't like it, don't serve it to people. Right. Oh, look at this go. Mountain that up. Oh. Imagine serving that to friends on a Friday night, or just, you know, not sharing it, just eating it, which is what I'll be doing. All right, let's pop that there like that. Let's get rid of the tray for the look of the thing. Ooh, crash, sorry everyone. Put that over there, we're gonna do a bit of, a bit of chivey garnish. Why not, because everything needs added green. Ah. Throw it everywhere. Now I've just served it with the, the yogurt dipping sauce that we made before, just there. Oh, such a mess. Oh, such a mess. And some pickles. Again, just as a counterpoint, the nice acidic counterpoint to, to the beautiful buffalo wings. But have a look at that. Mm-hmm. Am I right? Okay, but this is what we've all been waiting for, and I cannot hold back any longer. I'm probably going to burn my mouth, but that's, you know... Chef's prerogative, right? I'm just going to go straight for it as it is. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Mm hmm. Mmm. No words. <laughs> that is blisteringly hot, both in temperature and in spice. But you can see the cauliflower inside is steamed to perfection. It's absolutely beautiful. None of that stank that we were talking about before. And then it's got this beautiful coating on the outside. Ah, uh, it's very hot though. Temperature. Mm. Oh my goodness. How are you going? Eighty. Mm. Patiently. You're busting for some, aren't you? All right. So I'm just going to do this. Um. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. 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 Thank you so much for joining me for the fun food, the joyful food, and the delicious food. Please try the cauliflower buffalo wings. Be prepared for them to be spicy, but I guarantee they will change your mind and you will be leaving the chicken wings aside to try these ones. But go ahead, try it. And in the meantime, I'm going to fight everyone for these. See you next time. Oh, no. Ha, ha, ha.